What's up? It's Ty Marie, and on this week's episode of The Wrap Up, we talk Sweetie and YG's domestic dispute, Krishan Rock and Blueface's jail sentencing, and Kaylani files a restraining order against her baby daddy. Let's get right into it. We have some drama to break down between YG and Sweetie. The couple had a heated argument at their LA crib this past Saturday and it got so loud that somebody actually called the cops. Now when the boys in blue showed up, they had to separate YG and Sweetie to cool things off. No hands were thrown though. Police said there was no physical altercation so no charges were pressed. Just a loud argument over a cell phone. Cops filed a non-criminal report and bounced, making sure everything was chill before they left. Now you remember when they first linked up back in April at Coachella? YG was on stage shouting his love for Sweetie and she was all about it. But fast forward and now here we are with the latest drama. After the cops left, YG hit up Instagram and dropped a cryptic post of a lion and a cheetah emoji. Fans think he was throwing shade at Sweetie, calling her a liar and a cheater. But he quickly took the post down, so who knows what's really going on. No official word from YG or Sweetie, but we'll let you know. We'll keep you posted on all the juicy details. It's time to dive into the latest on Christian Rock and grab a seat because trust me, it's a lot. Her jail cell phone footage went viral on Tuesday as she's facing up to eight years in Oklahoma over some serious drug charges. In this 42 second clip, Chris Sean's laughing and updating her fans saying she's using this time behind bars to heal. Hey big babies! <laughs> um, don't be sad, it's okay. Uh, I got snowed up in here. I ain't gonna hold you, I was tweaking for real. But I'm gonna be a buck. I use this time to really heal. I'm healing from a lot of shit. I ain't gonna hold you. She admits she was tweaking, but she's determined to come out stronger and drop some new music for y'all. Now, we don't know who she was talking to or when this call took place, but her message is clear. She's focused on bettering herself. Rock is facing some serious charges for possession with intent to distribute and not having a tax stand on drugs, both carrying a possible four-year sentence each. Her mugshot has also been making rounds on social media. Meanwhile, her on-again, off-again boo, Blueface, just got hit with a four-year sentence in California after violating his probation from a 2021 assault case. We'll keep you updated on the Krishan and Blueface saga. Kaylani just got a restraining order against her baby father, Javon Young White. Kaylani claims that Young White has been physically, emotionally, and verbally abusive and is taking a toll on their daughter. According to court documents, Young White, who's been living in Kehlani's back house, allegedly broke through a locked door and even got caught using some drugs. Kehlani also said the living conditions were rough and her daughter would come back from his visits smelling like weed. A judge has now granted Kehlani a temporary restraining order, meaning Young White can't contact her or come within 100 yards of her or their daughter. Kaylani also got sole custody of their daughter until a court hearing next month. Kaylani made it clear that she's always made her child's safety a priority and that this legal matter will be handled privately. She thanked everyone for respecting her privacy and said she won't be commenting further. She's letting the legal process do its thing. Jordan Childs calling the loss of her bronze medal devastating. Writing on Instagram, I have no words. This decision feels unjust and comes as a significant blow. Big news from the Olympics, Jordan Childs has just been stripped of her bronze medal after a dramatic score challenge from Team Romania. USA Gymnastics fighting the decision, saying they have time-stamped video evidence that proves otherwise. Okay, here's the deal. During the women's floor exercise final on August 5th, Childs originally scored 13.666 and was in fifth place. After a quick inquiry from Coach Cecile Landi, her score got upgraded to 13.766, which moved her into third and snagged her the bronze. The inquiry that the U.S. filed was about something very specific that she was not credited for that they believe she should be. 
and the judges accepted the inquiry. That's not, that does not seem to be in dispute. The question is when it was turned in. But the drama didn't end there. Romania claimed the inquiry was filed after the one minute deadline and challenged the result. At the Court of Arbitration for Sport, the case was made that it was one minute and four seconds. And then they held the hearing and Giles was demoted in the standings. The Court of Arbitration for Sports agreed and now the bronze has been awarded to Romania's Anna Barbosa. USA Gymnastics tried to fight back with the new evidence. USA Gymnastics, after that took place, came up with video evidence that was timestamped that supposedly shows that inquiry was filed within one minute. But was told the decision was final and could not be reopened. They're deeply disappointed and plan to appeal further. It appears in this case, Court of Arbitration for Sport moved too quickly. And so USA Gymnastics is going to go to higher courts in Switzerland. I don't think that there is any guarantee of success there. I think what may have to happen is public pressure on the International Olympic Committee to say, look, it has been established that her score initially was incorrectly given. If this new evidence holds up, that the inquiry was filed on time. That's it for this episode of The Wrap Up. Be sure to check back in next week for some more tea.